Kila Ribbon Live TV, e konya mulu doa kokoton gbe asha ti isele Yoruba laruge.
In considering our sister Bonale's relatively short life and the impact she made, and the impact she is making, I identify with all those that said that she lives on, her legacy lives on, her impact lives on. Philosophy cannot accomplish that. Not art, not literature, not music. Only Jesus Christ can break the enslaving chains of sin and Satan. He alone can speak peace to the human heart, strengthen the weak, and give life to those who are spiritually dead. Please, I want to introduce you to this Jesus, who is our friend and somebody we have learned to trust in times like this. Let me go on in looking at the parallels between the life of our sister and that of Jesus and that of some of the greatest people that have lived like Lincoln. You know, in the unfortunate death of our sister, you know, the circumstances are already attracting wide-ranging attention and she's already, she's has, she's already having a wide-ranging impact. Because the Bible says in John 12, 24, for very truly I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. You know, brethren, to be honest, there are people we meet and we wish they could live and live and live forever. But just like the example of Christ told us, you know, only God understands why some of those lives of greatest impact are not necessarily the longest lives. And why? You know, he calls them home at their finest hour, as has happened with our sister. Sister Bolanda's relatively short life was full of impact, but her death and passing to glory, as unfortunate and heartbreaking as it is, would have even far greater impact. I don't need to be a prophet to tell you that. You can see it. You can see the evidence. You can see the reality. You can see the... Uh, Commitments that are being made by people like the Nigerian Bar Association and others who say that even if we were asleep before, this has woken us up. That's the impact of the person we're talking about. The circumstances of our death have attracted wide ranging attention, brethren. And my prayer is this May the way she was sadly cut down on Christmas Day lead to wide ranging positive reforms in our society in Jesus' name. May her life and death draw many to know and embrace Jesus Christ the way this that did in Jesus' name. Amen. As people understand what she stood for, what she represented, may they follow her example. Amen. May her unfortunate death produce blessings for the family. Amen. For our dear brother, brother Wenga, the daughter, Shemi Lauren, you know, the immediate family, the extended family. And I speak of something I know about. I always remind people when I stand in settings like this. You know, when my father died, because he died in the Lord, he died in faith, he died with a righteous foundation, we saw the blessings that followed. And I honestly believe that that seed that has been sown will yet speak. Amen. Therefore, I'm praying blessings upon the family, Amen. such that not too long from now, we will look back and say, what the enemy meant for evil, God has used for good. Amen. May God have mercy. May God bless you. May God help you. May God show you that He is the defender of the weak. He is the ever present, the very present help in a time of need. May you see His glory in the land of the living. But as we reflect on the life of our sister, Sister Paula Lee, I want to submit to you, as many have already said, that a far greater reward awaits Sister Paula Lee in eternity. Because the Bible again tells us in the passage we read, John chapter 12, verse 25, those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Then in the next verse, in the concluding part, it says, Whoever serves me, the Father will honor him. That's in verse 26. Our sister Bonamy clearly served the Lord, and now she has gone to receive her reward and to partake in the abundant life and eternity that Jesus spoke so eloquently about in John chapter 10, verse 10. John chapter 10, verse 10 says, The thief does not come. Kilaribon Live TV. Ikonia mulu doa kokotong biasha ti shele yoruba laruge.